How's it going YouTube? Thanks for joining me for another review. Today I'm going to be looking at another beer from Granville Island Brewing Company out in uh, Granville Island, Vancouver, British Columbia. I uh, haven't had a beer from them in a while. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of their stuff comes out to my area for some reason, but uh, today's beer is their Coco Loco. Uh, really nice artwork on this one, really enjoy the artwork. Uh, it's a cocoa nut job with fruity loopy cardamom. It's a chocolate porter um, using Ganaya Ganyan cacao nibs green cardamom to be paired with candied pork belly serve at 8 to 12 Celsius. This is slightly cooler than that. I think it's around 6 or 7. But uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> original gravity. 15 Play-Doh, IBUs 25, alcohol is 6.5%. Had the pleasure of visiting their brewery last uh, summer, last August I believe, and really enjoyed their beers there. Uh, main beers are more for the mainstream, you know, and just to knock back a ton of, but uh, their white IPA, their session IPA, super flavorful, was really impressed by them. So, uh, yeah, um, enough about that. Let's get it cracked, poured, and see how the Coco Loco is. Got the Coco Loco poured into a uh, Granville Island mug, courtesy of my dad. Thanks a lot. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, a frothy, creamy, espresso-like head. Uh, really bubbly, really frothy, compact but looks absolutely awesome. Uh, really deep brown color to this one. Completely opaque except for a gleam of a dark brown light coming through the bottom there. Lots of carbonation. Really damn good looking porter. Let's get an aroma. Yeah, <laughs> wow. It smells like Christmas. Uh, definitely getting the cardamom. It, Brings to mind like uh, gingerbread cookies for some reason. Uh, definitely getting the uh, cacao nibs as well. <clears throat> a nice uh, sweet chocolate, a nice dark chocolate. A bit of malt. Yeah, like a toasty, roasty malt. It reminds me a lot of uh, Celebrator Doppelbach, I think it's called, from uh, Eyinger. Something like that. Yeah, it smells really awesome. All right, cheers, everybody. Yeah, that's uh, basically Christmas in a glass. Um, very nostalgic. Uh, something I'd enjoy as a kid. Um, not that I drank as a kid, but um, yeah, it tastes like a Christmassy drink, you know. Uh, right away, get the cardamom. It almost reminds me of a cinnamon, something like that, like a nutmeg. It just brings back memories of Christmas cookies, stuff like that. Um, like a Christmas chocolate cookie, because I do get lots of like baker's chocolate, lots of milk chocolate, that uh, dry bitterness, but also the sweet, uh, malty, just creamy chocolate, you know. Um, really nice stuff. Really, really enjoying this porter. Getting hints of like a nice dash of caramel in this one too. A nice milkiness to it. Uh, getting a bit of coffee, some uh, herbal, herbaceous kind of hops, you know, nice grassy hop in the background. Ooh. Excuse me. Really nice uh, nightcap kind of beer. I think I ought to buy a bunch more of this and uh, save it for Christmas and I think my relatives would really enjoy something like this. Uh, it's a really easy to get behind porter, uh, great gateway to big imperial stouts, stuff like that. Um, very tasty but very tankable. The mouthfeel is great. You get a bit of stickiness like a Christmas candy, you know, you want that stickiness. Uh, but it's also got uh, a nice crisp light mouthfeel and you could just tank this all day and not get way too drunk um, sorry about that got interrupted for a second there but uh, yeah 
on to a rating on the uh, Coco Loco from Granville Island. I'm really enjoying it. I definitely get the cardamom. It's got that beautiful Christmassy vibe to it. Uh, the cocoa nibs shine the most, I think. It's the predominant flavor in it. Um, it's a really nice beer. Probably the best I've had from Granville Island. Um, I've had some really good beers from them. Again, I visited their brewery and I uh, really enjoyed their IPAs they made out there. Um, they are macro now and um, most of their beers are very bland and really easy to get behind, let's say. Um, very tankable. But uh, they're one-offs, I'm really impressed by them. Uh, lots of flavor in this one. And it absolutely looks awesome. You know, especially in the uh, Granville Island mug. It looks like straight up coffee. Beautiful, beautiful beer. Um, i go 90 on this one, something like that. It's really good, highly recommended. I mean, this would be the perfect winter warmer. Uh, it's going to be an awesome nightcap. I can't wait to fall asleep with uh, this brew in my belly. It's warming, but it's not heavy at all, and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, really good beer. Um, probably the best I've had from them. It's awesome stuff. Um, yeah. Anything else to say about this one? No, I don't think so. Uh, pretty much covered it. Really good beer. Uh, again, that's Coco Loco from Granville Island out in Vancouver, British Columbia. Let me know what you think of this beer. Uh, any of their other beers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go enjoy this with some Game of Thrones. And uh, yeah, until the next review. Cheers.